Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Make a Game. Um, also Lumber Tycoon 2. And it's not Lumber Tycoon 2 that I'm making, but it is my lumber. And I've got all these other ideas that I wanted to do. Um, the main reason I like coming inside LT2 is because of the music in the background. And because my game doesn't have any kind of music yet, and whenever I'm in the studio it doesn't play any music. This is a great idea. So, it's Kevin Mac MacLeod, mostly. Um, anyhow, what I wanted to do tonight was I wanted to come over here. I had just quickly thrown this uh, together during lunch today, and I didn't like the way that these all came together right here at the end, so I wanted to clean this up a little bit. If you look over here, this is the dock. I played with it as for a second, put some uh, extra stuff on. Oh, and by the way, I fixed the water. The water is now fixed. <laughs> so if you come back into the water and you jump in, you do this thing like that. Okay, that's not fixed. Why is... What in the world? <sighs> okay, the water's broke. <laughs> stop. Stop. What happened to the water? Okay, seriously. <laughs> Demo fail. Right off the bat. Okay, hold on. Uh, swim counter is zero. Okay, I go into the water. Oh, there we go. Oh, and you can actually see it. Um, so I created a new script called Killbox, and the Killbox is this pink box down here in the bottom. And I'll show you what I did to do that. So inside my scripty scripts, um, over here, server side scripts, come down here to water damage. Um, right here, boom. This little script right here. This is what I call the kill box. So for K comma O in pairs, workspace, land, get children, I do. If O dot name equals water, then it creates a kill box. That kill box is a new instance, it's just a part. Uh, brick color is gonna be hot pink. Uh, transparency 0.5, I'm actually going to set that to one so you cannot see it anymore. And the parent is inside the workspace. Uh, the size is the same size as the object we found, so the, um, <clears throat> the, what is it, the, actually I could do, here, I, I could actually do this, boink, kill that out, paste that there, because we wanted the same size as the object we found. So it's the exact same size as the water, except it's a hundred times thicker this direction. And then uh, position is the same um, position as the O box, but 50, um, 50 point five down. So it's just below the surface of the water. And actually, we can we can take that back to fifty because I don't have to hide it anymore. <clears throat> if it's invisible, you can't see it anyway. So um, then we anchor the box and we make sure that the can collide is turned to off. So anytime that the kill box is touched, we connect, add swimmer. Anytime that the it touch ends, we remove the swimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inside the add swimmer and the remove swimmer, I added uh, two little things. So I only look to see if a humanoid root part has touched us. I, I don't really care if there's some arms or some legs or whatever. And if a humanoid root part touches, then we go ahead and say that the player is the parent part. We check already loaded, uh, already added uh, to false, and then we go through each one. <clears throat> we go through each one of the swimmers, our current table, to see if um, our player, uh, if O, right here, our player, is equal to player. Uh, see if the current item is equal to player. So it goes through each one of the swimmers to see if they're already there. If it finds them, it sets the already added to true. This way we're not causing multiple damage to the same swimmer if a double touch happened. We do the same thing on the remove. If the player, humanoid root part, uh, we check the player, uh, if we check to see if the player is inside swimmers, and then if the player is inside swimmers, we remove that player. Um, there's only one exception to that, and that would be if the swimmer dies. But I think, uh, I think a touched ended happens if a player dies. So. There we go. We're dying, no! And then we jump in. Uh-oh. We're dying, we're dying. And the reason I needed to do that is because 
Um, I found whenever you guys were not touching the the, the uh, water, like say if you were under the water, like this, we. If you're under the water, I still have to kill you somehow. I still have to deal that damage to you. But, you know, you're under the water, no longer touching the top water. So, I put an invisible kill box down below all the water. So, water fixed. <clears throat> okay, so, that's that's that. Uh, over here, I just, I threw this together real quick, and I'm not happy with the corners right here. Somebody was telling me that there is a way to turn wedges. Um, hold on. So, we need to take this... Let's see. I need to take this. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I need to scale it this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z. Touch on the wrong thing. There's that. And we need to scale this one this way. We need these two edges to, like, match up. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Control Z. Ich kind of hard to do. Okay, that's closer. A little bit closer. Ooh, that's really close. That's close, close, close. Okay, I don't think anybody's going to care about that small of a change. That's okay. But that's also what makes a game great, is the precision attention to details. Oh my gosh, it's so right there. Maybe I'll, I'll put a building or something in the way. That'll work. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Is my precision turned off? Oh, no, it's not. Turn precision down. I can't, I can't move it any smaller when I'm that far away from the, the handle. Okay. Let's do this. Scale that one this way. That way I can do precision movement right here. Mm, there we go. Uh, is that precise? Oh, thank you for the subscribe. Who subscribed? Who did I miss? Mysterio. Mr. Iso. Ioso. Oh, there's a, there's a baby gap there. Still, oh, just not here. Can we go into this precision? That's a world position. I don't want to do that. Wait, control L, change that. No, it does not. It changes it on the uh, there, but okay, come on, just. Alright, let's do scale. We're going to pull this. Uh oh, wrong, wrong piece. That one right there. We want it right at the edge. Right there. Closer. Very close, very close indeed. So, on this part, I can just grab the opposite end and we slide it all the way over here. Slide, 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 slide. And we don't want this to be gapped down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to take a quick peek under the water. There we go. No gaps, all good. Looks good. Okay. So now somebody was telling me that I could do a wedge some kind right here, like a side wedge. Um, let's go part. Now, is there any way to angle that cut? Custom inputs, maybe? Collision group, massless, no. Custom surface inputs. Hmm, 0.5, negative 0.5. How's that different than uh, a square? Let's check a block. Okay, I'm just gonna go to look at these two different properties. Properties. 
Top surface input, no input. Stop scrolling. I do not see any change to the surface inputs, so. Uh, part custom physical properties. Size, shape. So this one actually has a shape property to it called block. This one does not, because it's a wedge. Any differences in the, uh, no, the surfaces are smooth, 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 smooth. <clears throat> so what tells it that it's a, a wedge? Unless it's physically a different part. Hmm. Well... All right, let's destroy that. Delete. One thing that I can do, that I know how to do, is I can grab, whoa, I can grab this part. Come here, you. I can grab this part like this. Oh, like that. Right? And that makes even with there. So then what I can do, I can grab this. Scalular. Scale, 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 scale. Like that. Now, come on. Did you come all the way across? You did not. Okay, so we might go the opposite direction. So let's hit Control Z. Let's stick this on this side. Come out like that. That'll work. This has got to come out to the very tip of that one, like that, just so it intersects right there. See that? Come out a little bit more. Okay, so what I can do is I can change this to the same properties as the grass. Change to green. Oh, that's not the right green. Is it that green? No, not. What is this? Where are you? It's that one right there. So grab this one. Make sure we have that one right there. Material is going to be grass. Like that. Now, <clears throat> I can make this very large. Very large indeed. Make it go into the ground as well. All the way down like this. Do we go into the ground? We did. I'm gonna take this, scale it way back down like that. Just as close as I can get it. Make sure this covers up this entire part. Just like that. And right there. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so see how that is now covering up the entire part? I'm going to go invert or negative. I'm going to hold shift and grab onto that piece and I'm going to union them. <gasps> what happened to the piece, Code? It disappeared like magic. <gasps> we know. It's gone. <laughs> so next I'm going to come over here to this side, I'm just going to place a part down, boink, like that. Now it should, oh, 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 come here. It should have the same properties as the other one did. So come here, come here, come here, come here. Get on there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I can't get it to angle. Why don't it angle? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's because I unioned that part, isn't it? All right. Control Z, 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 Z. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now I should be able to angle a part on there. I have to do this before. There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and union those two parts again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move it afterwards. 
Can I move it? I cannot, but it's already at the angle that I need, so I don't, I don't need to worry about it too much. So now, pull this over here, up there. Oops. Come on. Uh, we can... Mm, nope, we cannot lower this piece anymore because it's already right there on the edge. So, let's just pull this out to the very end, right there, just like that. And we're just going to pull this all the way down. So at a nice angle. Right there. And then come out this direction so it's over the edge. And the reason that you want the same material and color is because when you make a cut or when you make a, an invert and you union them, that color actually gets applied to the cut itself. So um, there used to be a way to mix and match textures. I don't know if you can still do that, but all right. So that looks good. I think everything covered. Good. Let's go ahead and negative this one. I'm going to hold shift and grab that wedge right there. And we're going to union just like that. Look at that nice clean edge all the way down. Very cool. So because these are still um, part of our oopsie daisy. Hold on. Control Z. Because these are still part of our stuff and we want stuff to grow on them, we're going to cut. Oh, oh, oh. Control Z. We want to move these up in here to our land. Oh gosh, why is it not going up further, please? Oh, there we go. I can scroll. Dropped in our land. I'm just going to call them grass. Just like that. Now, I don't know that their mass still counts because they, they are union cuts. But, because those, those do make it a little bit more difficult to grow on. I wonder if there's just going to be trees not growing right here. I might have to put like invisible grass or something. Anyhow, it's a nice little cut. Okay, <clears throat> where am I at? What, what am I doing? No, oh, we're 18 minutes. So I also decided that this rock is like way too big. So I'm just going to scale this way down. Control, no, it's not control shift, is it control? No, is it shift? There we go. Shift this all the way down. Whoa, too small. Come on, control, control. There we go. That's a little bit better. And I want a couple of these just out here and about. Control D. I'll add some different ones. Like that. Like that. Maybe one over there. Give this some rotation. Like that. Good. Maybe this one that way a little bit. And control duplicate. Um, well, let's go to move. Control L to change this to a local. I left this open, by the way, so. Ooh. 
Thank you. Um, Vlad. See, I'm just subscribed. Appreciate it. These might be too big still, but that's okay. I figured the mountain range, uh, if we go take a look at how he did it in lumber, right? <clears throat> His mountain range up here, it does kind of the same thing for the volcano. I'm not adding a volcano yet. Maybe we'll add something later, but for right now I'm okay. And it's not huge flat land all over the place. I mean, there's this layer right here, and then it comes up to like this and this. Then there's this layer, then there's another one here, there's another top layer, and then he's got like the grove and the stuff, all of that. And I think that's how he's controlling like what kind of trees grow in places. So I'm just, I'm gonna do this because I wanna call these areas. This is also gonna mess up my water, isn't it? Uh, inside the land, I'm going to create a new folder Insert folder. This is going to be called, um, what, what is this? The main, uh, let's, let's call them areas, 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 like that, areas. And all of this grass right here, this is definitely going in there. Uh, road one, yes, the road one's gonna go in there. Um, let's call this main area, main area. <laughs> Just like that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so, uh, rock walls. I think all, all these rock walls shall be called the main area for now. We might do something different once we get over there. Or go up some. But for now, main area. Uh, sea floor. Um, it's gonna be the main area. Main area. Come on, get in there. There you go. Water, water, water. Water's not gonna be a main area, water's gonna be its own individual area. Grass wedge, grass wedge. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Excuse me. Uh, okay, maybe not. Um, this way, what I can do is when I start to build a store, which actually, I'll do that tonight. I want a, I want a little store, a little store. Let's go ahead and throw a part out there. We don't want it to be that. Let's make it concrete and like a darkish gray, lightish gray color. Like that, that looks good. Um, oh, what is um, Tom's little area look like? Again, not exactly, but, because he doesn't have like a threshold. It's just straight concrete all the way up until the, the thing. By the way, this would have been a perfect setup for the 20 minute challenge. Look at that cherry tree right there at the beginning. Just saying. Okay, so there's a little bit of a threshold. It's like just this little bump right there. 0.5 units big. There we go. Okay. So I, can, I can do that real quick. Actually here, let's stay, let's stay down here. This way I can, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. This way I can look around. I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna copy his shelving. Probably gonna do my own shelves. Uh, I do like how he's got two borders right here. So there's concrete and then there's wood planks. I also like that there's lighting. And I like that there's glass. I think I'm gonna use actual glass though. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, and you'll have to forgive me, I was sick yesterday and no, well, yesterday to me because I'm recording on Tuesday. Does that make sense? Yeah, because this comes out Wednesday. 
so you guys would see it Wednesday, so you'd think whenever I said yesterday, I'd say Tuesday, unless you're in a different time zone. Anyhow, long story short, on Monday, I got really sick, like sick, sick. Like It was bad. Anyhow, a lot of you sent me well wishes and, and thank yous and stuff like that, so thank you so much for your concern and everything else. And I apologize that I did not send out a video for that day. Um, you would not have wanted to see me. Yesterday it was bad. <clears throat> okay. What we'll drop off on the outside of the store? <clears throat> okay. Okay, Tom. Yeah, let's go back over here. And actually, I'm gonna stand inside of his shop so I can get that awesome music. <clears throat> that way I'm I'm mov motivated. Um uh, hold on. Should I get a copy of, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna get a copy of my character in here that way. Okay, so the way you copy your character is you hit play, then you walk around for a second, and wait until that shield's gone. Once the shield's gone, come on. Go over to workspace, find your player, mine's code primate, copy, and then stop. And then go back into workspace, right click, and paste into. Uh, wait. Paste into. Boink. There I am. So now I have a model that I can compare sizes to. This way I'm not making things too big like mountains in the background. By the way, that's still huge in comparison. There's not a single rock that is that huge inside LT2. I mean, maybe that one up there, that's like the big rock. Everything else is pretty small and comparable. So, all right. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're we're doing the music. <clears throat> do 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 do. <clears throat> okay, so the door is about two high, or one and a half high. So let's just scale this up. Oh, about there. So that's about how tall the door is. And then, uh, let's see. Whew. That is a, I just realized that is a big wall. Actually, that's not really that big of a wall. In fact, it's not really that big at all. If we look right here, right next to his feet. That's the actual part of the wall. And what is that? Is it concrete? It is concrete. Concrete gray. Looks just like that. Nice! Well, let's start with the white concrete floor, I guess. Um, here, let's just do duplicate. Pull this out. Change this to a white. Is it concrete floor? Yeah, it's concrete. So, squish this down. Scale. Change this to 0.5. And squishy. Squishy! It's got to be shorter than 0 0.5. What about 0 0.2? Hmm, 0 0.2 might be too much. Maybe 0 0.4. 0 0.4? Yeah, we'll go with 0 0.4. So, <clears throat> sure, why not? That looks, oh gosh, control Z. That looks good, right about there. And he has wood drop offs like this. I don't like those. So I'm actually going to have mine like set into the back of the wall. So they're different, but the same. Let's go about like that. That looks good. Let's take this, place it up here like that. Mm, rotate it. Actually, no, we don't need to rotate. Let's just change the scale. There we go. Just <laughs> control Z. All right. All right, code. You need to move, buddy. Let's move you into right there. All right. Scalular. That and then 
Let's see. How wide's the door? The door is probably about one avatar laying down. One and a half avatar laying down. So let's go duplicate. And we're going to pull this off to this side. I should have two entrances instead of one. Oh, that's brilliant code. And I'm going to have a sideways thing. A counter that's on the side instead of... <clears throat> and I kind of want these to be the same size. So let's delete that. Let's grab this. Duplicate. And we're going to move it over to the opposite side. That way they're the same, same. Same size on both sides. I want to take both of these, shift D to duplicate, uh, scale, I'm going to take one, oh wait, wait, control Z, I want to go back to the one units, one unit movements again, okay, so that's one unit that way, uh oh, it's still by one unit though, right? Oh wait, it's not concrete. It's like that white outline kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Um, delete that. Delete that. So, duplicate, rotate. Why is that? Oh, because we're not at point two again. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, and this can come up by point two. Just like that. I'm going to scale down just a little bit so it touches. Okay, we're going to turn off the move. There, there's that. Okay, hold on. Let's scale this down a little bit. Actually, no, that's that's about tall, right? Might be too tall. No, that's about right. It's good. It's all good. Head back in so we get that awesome music, Tom. I'll be your DJ, sir. <laughs> This edge should be fine. Okay, hold on. Surface inputs, uh, smooth with no outlines. Smooth, no outlines. Smooth, no outlines. Come on. There we go. There we go. Go, go. Got it. Smooth, no outlines. Make sure that side gets it. Me. Hold on. There, got it. Everything. No, didn't get you, did I? Smooth, no outlines. Smooth, no outlines. Oh gosh. There we go. Smooth, no outlines. Didn't get that side, or that side, or that side. I just want to paint them all smooth with no outlines. My bucket would be so proud of me. Good job, buddy. Alright, let's grab this. See how close we are to the edge. I think it's so minute, we're not going to notice it, so... Shift, duplicate. Pull this off to this edge. Make sure we are right on the edge. So close we can't tell. And even if we did tell, it'd be too late. <clears throat> so is there a thing across the top? There is. Okay, so I just I want to take the same kind like this. I'm gonna go duplicate, move this up like that. I'm 
Boink. And scale. Boink. It did not attach. Did you see that? I wonder why it was not attached. It was to... Oh, there we go. And it's not really attached. I mean, it's just close. <coughs> okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five. And then like an outline of some kind. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. So let's just go to duplicate. Um, scale. We're going to change the material to... What is it, like a white plastic? It is white plastic. So, smooth plastic. Color, white. And scale. Come out to about there. Hold on, let's set it to the point two movements. Have a little bit more precision. Not as thick either. So, control, good old control. Control, pull that back out a little bit. And then, about there. Just gonna move that back in place. Just like that. That's like super wide though. I'm not sure if we want it that wide. That's like. Crazy white. Is there is there like an off color white? Do we have an off white? Eggshell maybe. Light gray. That's a better color. Okay. So these these windows are about same same. So let's duplicate. Good. Shift duplicate. Let's pull these right about here. We're gonna go in just a little bit. side. Now I should be able to go shift D right about there. Looks good. Shift D, go to the other side. Right about the middle. Just like that. Good. Wow. Shift D. Oops, Control D. I'm going to pull this part to the middle. And we're going to scale it all the way up, just like that. And scale it all the way out to this side. And all the way out to this side. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Strange. I just realized none of this stuff is anchored, is it? Oh gosh, anchored. <laughs> Gotta hit play, everything's gonna fall apart. Um, that should be that for that. Let's grab this piece right here. Shift D, no, Control D to duplicate. We're going to move this downward like that and scale you in. Oh, come on. Scale this 
this over. Just like that. Shift D. No, Control D. Man, I keep wanting to do Shift for some reason. And I should be able to just move this over into place without any scale. Good. Okay, these parts are different than these parts. The frame looks like it's a little bit thicker. Shift D. Okay, I am going to make sure that this size on this is one by one by one. One, one, 30 is fine. But we're going to scale down. Scale this down. Maybe up a little bit, like that. And is it right on the edge? It's coming right at the center of that thing. So Shift D to duplicate, move. And there's a lot of you out there that are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, you're making it just like it. It's not going to be the same. I promise. Move over this direction. Move upward. And scale. So it's a little bit wider. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and grab this. Hold on. Scale. I'm just, just going to count these out, by the way. Scale. One. Oops. Maybe not. Control Z. Let's move it over by one unit a piece. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh no, that that might seem. Move one, two, three. One, two, three. That seems too thin. Let's go back one. This one needs to come over one because we're dividing it by two. Same thing for this one. It comes over one. Beautiful. Beautifully done, Code. Oh my gosh, we are at 43 minutes. <laughs> Much further than I had anticipated. Okay, let's get, let's get, um, let's not do anything else for now. Okay, that's, we're doing good. I, I don't want to get too much done all at once. Anyhow. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I still haven't worked on the, like this, the, like I started to work on the, the uh, tree scripts and found out it's going to be a lot harder than I thought. Um, same thing with the, the looking scripts and I think I've, I've figured out something to get the look, touch script, the grab script to work for me, but... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, as a good YouTuber does, but it's up to you. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Outro. Thank you.